Hello guys, um, I'm back with a new tool. <laughs> let's, let's say it's an expanded version of the last tool with a new UI. You can see the UI last time I showed you just some console stuff. This time we have a UI. And we can change the languages in the drop down menu. Uh, you can't see in the video, I don't know why. But here's a, a drop down menu with all the 104 languages we support currently. And I set it to English currently. Uh, let's say I, I set it to Russian for the beginning because okay, so I can show you that you can change the language. Let's say Russian. See, now it says Russian above. And if I type some messages like hello, my friends, it will translate it to Russian and put it in this chat window. Let's see, pretty weird. All right, let's set it back to English. So we can do the video. Okay, so I set it to English, and if I type some German like this, uh, it translated to English in this case. It always translates to the uh, to the language you have set up on top. You can also clear the chat if you want to clear the chat, then it will empty. All right. Okay, so we can start. We can put tier underscore help. This is the help command for the translate command. So you can see tm underscore ru, like Russian, would translate your message to Russian. If you don't know your code, you can type code help. And let's try this. Code help. Then you see how you can get your code. And here's code Russian. If you, let's say you are Spanish, you can also like to uh, code underscore Spanish or Spain or whatever. It, it will understand you. It will know what you want. And you see this, the code for Spanish is ES, like TM underscore ES. Hello, my friends. Let's try this. Then it will translate your message into Spanish. Macdev in Spanish. Hola, mis amigo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the translation. You can do whatever language you want. There are 104 languages. So your language should be available. <laughs> okay, um, then we have added a command for skins. If you want to look at a skin, let's say aka whatever red line. Uh, let's, let's say um, wild lotus. You can also have some typos if you say like this. Uh, this is completely spelled wrong, but the tool still will understand what you want. Let's say we want to see battle scars. Then you will get the code for the wild lotus in battle scars. You see, he, he understood what I want. Then you can put this code in the command, and then you can inspect the, the gun. It's easy as that. Okay. I could also um, check the prices. You can also um, let's let's do some um, help commands. Skin help. Then you can see what yeah. the command you get as a, as a response can be used in the console to inspect the weapon. And then you see the example we already did. We also have a price help, so you can check prices for the weapons. This will respond with the current steam price of a skin. And if there is no price available, it will just say that there is no price. It's like weapons, like the white lotus, uh, you, you will not find this on the Steam market. Uh, let's say white lotus minimal wear, and then it will just respond that there is no price for the white lotus. If it would find a, co uh, a price for factory new instead, then it will just say I didn't find the price for minimal wear, but here's the price for factory new. We can try this, I guess, with the red line. Let's say factory new. You see, no price for factory new, but I found red line for minimal wear, and then it says the price for minimal wear instead. Okay, and the last thing we have are stats. We have stats help. 
then you can see the stats like KD playtime last matches this uh, created. So when the when the account was created and headshot. Let's say it's that's playtime to show how much playtime I have. And this is only the playtime in game. So if you are in the menu or stuff like this, this doesn't count. You see 2000 hours, but I already have more than 4000 hours. That's because he only shows the time you have played on the official servers. Um, you can also, you can see this, these two uh, rows. If I type status in the, uh, on the server, you always get the response with all the uh, players on the server. Then he will check the players in the background and collect some stats. And then you will see these players here. If they don't have stats public, they are here. And if you can see their stats, they will show here. You can even search in this search bar. If you say, oh, this, this uh, Sulahan guy was pretty crazy la last game, then you can just search for him. And if you click on this, it will automatically copy the Steam ID for this guy. And then you can say stats last because he was really crazy in the last game. And copy this command. And then you see Solahan had 49 kills and 21 deaths in the last game. That's pretty insane. But this could also be just a death match, maybe, whatever. Then 49 21 is pretty good. Uh, exactly. And we can clear this search bar again. And then I guess we are done. We have much more to go. Um, all right. Yeah, that's it for the video. You can clear the chat again to show this second time. I see. Boop. Okay. If you have any suggestions what I can add to the game or to the tool, um, let me know. If you say this is completely useless and garbage, just delete it. <laughs> let me also know. Uh, okay. I hope you have a nice day and we see us in the next video. <laughs> bye bye.